The United Church of Canada has committed to becoming an anti-racist church. What might this mean for all of us in terms of our theologies and faith? United Church leaders share their insights. Mostly, I would say repentance, that, that the system has been wrong and that we confess that wrongdoings individually and as a church institutionally and as a citizen of the world. Um, and, and so undoing and, and remaking uh, a new world that, that all living in this shared place be respected and their dignity, their own unique beauty will shine and thrive. With good intentions at church, the United Church did allow us to uh, conduct our ceremonies in the United Church. It's kind of hard to try and figure out how you're going to do that because there's a lot of communities that are still think that uh, Native ceremonies is evil. There's another story. And the other story is there's in the beginning God created. So in the lives of people who are, who are facing exclusion, in the lives, lives of people who are feeling oppression, the, the word is there's an alternative story and the alternative story is in the beginning God created and God created human persons with value, worth and dignity. So for me, it's a, both a, you know, it's a clear theological uh, concept but it's also part of the biblical story. So I, I start there. From a theological perspective, I mean, part of it is, is a reaffirmation of the basic dignity, value, and worth of, of every person, right? I mean, for me, that's a, a starting point in terms of a, a theological assumption. How do we understand the biblical story uh, around um, the value and dignity of every human person. And to listen to the gospel of the United Church with the Bible. It's not until I, uh, I turn into adult years that I, uh, I realized that there is an Aboriginal Native culture, which I should have known about, which I didn't. And uh, and how I have missed all the rich, the rich culture of that. Here where I want to bring some kind of theology of anti-racism in that, um, you know, God is a relational God. We believe in Trinity and that God, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit are full communion, meaning fully, fully interconnected with each other. And this very God, a Song of Faith confess beautifully, desire relationships, um, the relationship with the humanity and the entire creation. Jesus spoke of uncomfortable realities in his time, challenged power structures, and took tangible action for justice. Becoming an anti-racist church is a way to follow Jesus' example. Mm -hmm.